Right guys, I just want to tell you about a couple of FOIs that I'm doing, um, some freedom of information requests. Um, now the last one I did was 2013 and it was to do with respiratory illnesses. People who have been on my channel will know the videos that I made. Now I'm getting figures for the last five years um, and this is what I've written to my, my local NHS department for, the N for FOI. Now the first question is, um, it says, please could you supply me with figures for the last five years, including age of deceased? Number one, number of people who have died from dementia. Number two, number of people who have died from respiratory illness. And number three, number of people who have died from SCA, sudden cardiac arrest. And I've asked them, please could you give me the figures month by month for each year, 2013 to 2018. So we'll get to see... Um, the, the differences in when I did those statistics because, you know, things have still been ongoing. The reason I've asked for the number of people who have died from dementia is because it's recently come out that aluminium has been found in the brain uh, for the first time. Nanoparticles of aluminium have been found in the human brain and this is one of the top causes for dementia and Alzheimer's, having toxic metals in the brain. They're not supposed to be there and it's making people suffer and people are having this problem. Top death at the moment is dementia. When I first did my statistics, it was respiratory illness. That's why I want to see the difference here. Now, the second FOI that I'm doing, let me just get this page up. Now, the second one that I'm doing is to the Agriculture and Environment Department. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because there was just recently a, a report on the BBC talking about chemtrails and geoengineering, and it was a really two-sided piece that was telling you it was all a load of rubbish, whilst also telling you it was true and it was going on in certain areas. Uh, I will leave the link to the, to the article, but this is what I've asked them. So, dear FOI team, in a recent BBC News report, it was stated that weather modification efforts have been localised. Here is another quote from the article. It's called Solar Geoengineering and involves atmospheric aerosol injection of tiny reflective particles to reduce the amount of sunlight reaching the Earth and thus cool the planet. And this is from, of course, David Keith. Who else? So this is what I've asked them. Number one, please can you send me information for geoengineering experiments that have been taking place over Hertfordshire and surrounding counties. Number two, when did these experiments begin? Number three, who is responsible for the governance of these experiments being carried out? Number four, what is the annual cost to the taxpayer for these solar radiation management experiments? Now, I can't wait to get a response from these people because I have FOI'd them before and they've said, oh, we've got no information of this, blah, 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 blah. You know, well, I'm asking them and I want to know who is responsible for the governance of these engineering, these experiments being carried out. Because every time you ask people what's going on, is this happening? You're always told no when we see that it's happening. Now, guys, look into this David Keith. OK, look up David Keith, check him out on YouTube. He will tell you himself what is going on. He will describe to you in very detailed, you know, very, he describes it very graphically, what it will look like, how they'll do it, the aerosol injection. He describes to you very well about how they modify the planes, how it's very easy to do. He's, he tells you himself, now, if you don't want to listen to me, then please do listen to David Keith, right? If you do care about the world and you care about humanity, this is something that you will look into. OK, we won't call it chemtrails. We'll call it, call it aerosol injection. That's what David Keith calls it. OK, that's how they're doing it. So I urge you to look into this and I will let you know as soon as I get my response on this. Really excited to hear what they have to say. All right. Peace out, peeps.